we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk about the difference between a solution and a suspension. Now, first you should know that both type examples of mixtures, and a mixture was just if we have more than one different type of substance. So if we have two or more substances in any given container or area, we have a mixture. And both solutions and suspensions are mixtures. Now, you might have heard the word uh, solutions before. In solutions, you have something called a solute, and you have something called a solvent. So, for example, a very common um, solute is salt. Right? So, if we have salt, and this is salt right here, we put that in salt in water, which is an example of a solvent. What this salt will do is it will dissolve. Right? So, salt dissolves, and anything that dissolves is a solute. So, remember, a solute dissolves. That's what a solute is. And salt is an example, but also sugar or ink. All these would be examples of of a solute. Now, uh, what is a solvent? A solvent is something that will do the dissolving. So it will do the dissolving. So for example, water will do the dissolving if we put salt into it, right? So if we put salt into water, water will dissolve salt. So water is a solvent because it will do the dissolving, whereas salt itself dissolves. Well, what I mean by dissolves, if you imagine this here being a salt cube, this here is meant to be same as that. Often when we say salt, what salt actually is, the chemical formula is NaCl, and that means sodium chloride. So we have these chlorine ions and these sodium ions, and that's basically a salt crystal. But if you put that into water, what's going to happen is this is going to happen. So here we put it in, and now what's going to happen is they're going to start spreading around, and at the end, they're going to be quite evenly spread throughout the actual container. This here would be an example of this because here we have is we have these blue little dots and this is meant to be water these blue dots will basically grab or or remove the salt from each other the salt particles so we have in the end it's going to be quite spread out and water will have done that job right so water is doing the dissolving and it's dissolving a solute in this case we have salt being dissolved by water so in the end, what you're going to see with a solution, a solution, remember that was the idea that we have a solute and a solvent, a solution is going to be quite transparent usually, and transparent means we it's see-through, light can pass through it, and in many cases, not all, but many solutions will look very similar to what water looks like. If you look at, for example, salt water, once it's dissolved, it looks almost like there, there was it's just pure water. But if we look into microscope, we can see there's actually more to it than just pure water. We have these dissolved little ions that, that are have been dissolved, so these solid particles that have been dissolved by water. Now, the difference between a solution and a suspension is a suspension, we don't have dissolving. So dissolving does not happen. So for example, if we take sand from, let's say, a beach and put sand into water, what's going to happen is that sand is going to float for a while. Right? In this picture here, you can see the sand that's floating, so sand that floats. And what we mean by floating, another word for floating would be it's suspended, right? It's not actually dissolved, it's just floating around. And what's going to happen after a couple of minutes is if we let it stand for longer, it's going to drop to the bottom. So you can see the water here is on top, but the sand has dropped to the bottom. So it's going to form something called sediment. And sediment is when the actual sand has dropped to the bottom. So in a solution, this would not happen. In a solution, the actual particles stay within the liquid. Whereas in a suspension, what's going to happen is those particles, in this case sand particles, are got, going to drop to the bottom. The reason being is because in sand particles, the actual particles are quite big. Right? So these are big particles. That means these water particles can't do the same thing. They can't all um, dissolve or even go completely surround these big molecules. And that means eventually these big molecules are going to be so heavy that they're going to drop to the bottom. Right? They're all going to drop to the bottom. So with a suspension, we have them dropping to the bottom, whereas in a solution, they stay dissolved within the actual um, mixture, in the, in the actual solution. So that's the big difference. Solution is where we have a, a solute that dissolves in a solvent. So for example, salt dissolving in water. And that means the, the mixture is going to be quite uniform. It's going to look quite similar everywhere. And whereas in suspension, you will have, for example, sand putting into, be put into water. It's going to float for a while. 
and Parramatta River is an example of a suspension where we have all the soil floating in the um, water. But if we let it stand, what's going to happen is that water is going to, the sand is going to be too heavy and it's going to drop to the bottom. Right? So that was a suspension. If it's too heavy, it drops to the bottom. 